today is a very special day. Uh, as you can see, I'm extremely tired. I just woke up. It is the day after Christmas. It's almost 60 degrees outside when it should be like in the negatives and snowing, but hey, I'm not complaining. But what makes today so special is that I'm going to try to get my car home today. So, right now I'm waiting for my Miata to warm up. I'm heading over to my friend Sean's house. We're loading up his Explorer and we are heading out about an hour away to grab my car. So the guy that's been working on my car, he will not be there when we pick it up because he will be at work. But the alternator's bad and the battery is bad. So I have a spare alternator and we're bringing a couple spare batteries. And there's also a couple other things that we need to get fixed on the way here. But uh, this could be quite the adventure, or it could go super smooth and we can get the car straight home. So I don't really know how this video is going to end up going, because I don't know how this, this car is going to react to wanting to drive an hour home. But uh, I'm going to go head to Sean's house and see what happens from there. So we were about to head to the shop to grab my car. We've came into a slight issue. <laughs> the Explorer is stuck in the yard. We cannot get it out. This is how the day is going to go. <laughs> so we've seemed to come up with a contraption to get this thing out. We had a put a piece of wood under the back diff to get the jack under it. Now we got wood on both sides. Hopefully get us out of the mud. And we're doing a burnout on the wood. Um, Come on, fuck! Hopefully, this is the one. We've been at this for quite a while now. So after about 45 minutes, this is the aftermath. Trying to get that motherfucker out. It's not a crazy elevation change or anything. It was just seriously that muddy that we could not pull forward. But um, I guess now it's time to clean up and head to the shop. So we've made it to the shop, got the car. A couple things we need to get done before we start uh, making the trip home. <sighs> you know how long I've been waiting for this day, man? Made me stand in water. You standing in a puddle? I was. Holy fuck. <laughs> 
So it must be my lucky day because I just got a phone call from a friend of mine asking if I wanted to trailer my car home because he actually has his truck and trailer about 15 minutes from here. So I don't have to drive this thing home now with car not being in my name, straight pipe V8, no bumpers, nothing like that. So I pretty much lucked out there. So we're going to just trailer it. It'd be a lot easier, a lot faster. And I guess we can see where we go from there, which that's pretty fucking awesome. The car sounds ridiculous. <laughs> so we're having some uh, starter issues making some fucky noises really don't know what to do about it fuck so it pretty much sounds like the starter is not making contact with the flywheel which pretty much sounds like I need to pull the intake manifold off now so luckily we're getting trailered home or else that would have probably happened on the way home and then we would have had to call somebody so I guess we're just going to get this trailer to home and uh, figure something out from there. So today did not go as planned because I was expecting on being able to drive this car home. Nothing worked out the way it was supposed to <laughs> and that's going to actually cut this video very short. As you can see I'm not really that happy because uh, if you've ever seen where the starter is on a 1UZ, it's in a very terrible place. It's under the intake manifold in the valley of the block. So I'm not, I'm not stoked. I'm not stoked at all. I'm scared it could have fucked up some more shit while it's doing that. Maybe it fucked up the teeth on the flywheel. You never know. But yeah, I guess next step is just whenever I can get a chance, go back to the garage, start pulling the intake manifold off, get that starter replaced, and go from there. I didn't get to film when I loaded it and unloaded it and while I was at my dad's house dropping the car off for some reason. So sorry you didn't get to see that, but at least you did get to see it run a little bit. But I think that's going to end it for today. Uh, this didn't go as planned because I was going to do a hype video. So getting everybody like excited for the car running, but since the starter doesn't work, I can't really do my hype video because it kind of involves starting the car, so I couldn't just pop start it to do the video. So I'm pretty much just going to hop straight into this. So hopefully I can get everything together and get the car running well soon because there's a pretty bad miss right now. So I do need to get some plugs and wires and get a couple of different other things just to make sure that it's running top notch but uh that's gonna end it for today sorry it wasn't as fun as i was expecting it to be so until next time i hope you guys enjoyed